What's with all the police everywhere? I'm not supposed to tell. You know the butcher? The freaking nut job that goes around chopping people up? The feds heard that he's gonna be here today. So they set up a trap for him. This whole concert? It's a trap. They're watching all the exits. They're checking everyone that leaves. There's no way to get out of here. Out of control. Two left. Where should I put her? Thank you. This individual that we're searching for won't panic. He's realized he can't get out. He's going to try to cause chaos. Dad, what are you doing? You're acting weird. <laughs> This dude is next level insane! Hello, my name is Michael Morley and I'm here to review Trap, directed by M. Night Shyamalan and starring Josh Hartnett, who plays a father who takes his daughter to a music festival of a woman named Lady Raven, basically a cop out and complete copy of Lady Gaga. She is a popular singer. She's like a Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande. You get the picture. Daughter and him are going to this music festival. They're there. He's there for his daughter because she's done well with her school grade. So he promised her, if you do well with your school grade, I'm going to take you to Lady Raven. She does, so he takes her there. All of a sudden, he's noticing cops, security guards, all over the place, guarding the entrance, guarding the exit. For some, he's wondering why, why, what's going on? What the, you know, why is there so many cops around the place? He asked a question to one of the workers who's selling merchandise for the singer. He goes, I'm not allowed to say anything, but have you heard of the butcher? And he's like, the, the butcher or well, what? Apparently the butcher, they know the butcher is here for this show and they have guarded all the exits and entrance to this arena and they're looking for him. They know he's here. Now, if you have seen the trailer, you would know that Josh Hartnett is in fact the butcher. He is the killer. Now, I don't know if this is the problem with trailers. They, they spoil so much to the point that they literally, I don't even know if M. Night Shyamalan, who loves to do twists and surprises, who directed The Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, Signs, Split. You know, he loves to do these twists. He likes to do surprises. I don't know if he was very happy with the fact that the trailer basically spoils that Josh Hartnett is the killer. Maybe, I don't know. But what I do like about this movie is the fact that we're seeing it from the killer's perspective. We're see he knows he's the killer. He knows he's the butcher. He knows he's the one in the wrong. And he's trying to find ways to get out. He's trying to find ways to escape. Anything like pushing a person down the stairs. So he's doing anything. He's grasping at opportunities. Put on the fire alarm or whatever to try and get out but he's being very cautious about it. There's lots of things that are in his way, but he also is very charming and has a lot of luck on his way to get through these certain situations. And I've got to say, this is a really fun movie. It's very suspenseful. It's very Hitchcock-y. Hitchcock you can tell that M. Night was very inspired by Alfred Hitchcock with this story. It's, it's those moments where you can just see paranoid Josh Hartnett's character is, and you see it from a close perspective from his eyes, and he's, he's getting like very paranoid with what's going on and I liked it. Actually liked his character quite a bit. Even though he is the butcher, I do like him. I think he's a cool character. <laughs> <laughs> there were moments where I was actually on his side. I actually wanted him to get out. I don't know why. I was like, I actually want this dude to get out. But because he, he's such a compelling character. He's a, not a boring character. He's very, he's not one dimensional. He's got a lot going on with him. He, he is a nice guy. He's a very nice person, but he's got problems. He's got issues, okay? There's something that happened to him when he was younger involving his mom that really fucked him up. <laughs> But think like Psycho, it's very much like that. He's got mummy problems, he's got mummy issues. Other than that, this is one of the best performances I've seen from Josh Hartnett since, I don't know, uh, 30 Days of Night, he was great. Now, he was great in Oppenheimer too, but it's been a while since I've seen him play a leading role. It's good to see him have a resurgence in Hollywood. It's good to see him, he's great in this movie. Am Not Shyamalan, this is one of his better movies he's done as of late. I think it's better than the recent one he did old. This is a step up from that. Remote, like the way it ends, I mean, it's a bit of a cop out because it feels like it's open for more and it doesn't really resolve what happens. But other than that, 
I did have a really fun time watching this movie, and I think if you love these sort of movies, these suspense thrillers that have twists and turns, and it's got shock and awe, and there's a bit of fun and dark comedy in there, I think you're gonna dig this movie. But I don't know how you're gonna feel about the ending. I was a bit mixed on it. I was like, eh, I didn't like the way it ended. Other than that, I did enjoy it, and I would recommend it. Seven out of 10. What's happening? Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. How are you all doing? You having fun? Woo! Come closer. What's going on, Daddy? Open the goddamn door! I say! I can't get away. I can't stop. I'll just do this one last one. Enjoy the rest of the concert. Huh? <gasps>